I finally got my HCSR04 sensor to trigger an event in an if statement. I was having trouble with the logic for some reason. I was setting things up and it, I tried different things and I don't know what was going on. So obviously research something, try something, research, try. Uh, that's the perseverance that this teaches. So here's a simple program I have. Um, LED enable true so that it will read out on the LED array um, the, the value. Connect the sensor. That connect the sensor came from a maker bit extension. So that might be important. Uh, and then I want to display some uh, colors with uh, the, the values. So that's what set strip is for there to get some NeoPixels there. Button A. Uh, show red button B is clear. I think yeah button B is black. I could have done uh, strip clear I want to make sure things are working so I kind of have those there so red I can say yeah It's running the program doing things and then I created a variable called distance and then set distance to this black box which came from an extension called sonar and you know where's my triggers and echo and unit and then I had it where am I at? I had it show the number on the uh, show number as part of the display and then if the distance is less than 10 then set one pixel pixel at zero to green and then you got to put strip show so it actually shows the strip if you just set the pixel at zero to green and don't tell it to show the strip, it's not going to show up. So here we go running. Um, there's my sensor. I could uh, have a less messy background there, couldn't I? Instead of having a micro bit behind it. Um, you see it's running numbers. And you see I've got my colors. So if I press A, they go red. If I press B, they clear. And now if I come closer to my sensor, you see it went to 7, 6, and the one NeoPixel lit up. Now, this is where the logic and computational thinking comes in. How do I change that code so that something else can register and happen? Because if I don't turn that off, it's going to stay on forever until I physically clear it. And I can physically clear it with the clear button. Uh, you don't want to have to keep pressing clear on things. So that's where the logic of how to program this. Um, I could have it like just show up for two seconds and then clear it. Or you could set, I mean, it all depends on what you want to do with your ifs. That's the thing. And that's where all that thinking comes in. So, so they are going to trigger an event. So we can do that. Oh, and just a reminder where we're plugging things in. I'm using the, let's turn the light off. I am using one of these servo ports for the battery, the ground, and the trigger signal. That's three out of those four wires. And then I'm using one wire out of the other servo port for the echo. Again, I gotta buy some jumper wires that are female to female. Thought I had a set of those. There you go.